The F-16 Fighting Falcon is a true superstar of the skies. Many people know it by its official name, but pilots have a cooler nickname for it. They call it, the Viper. This name actually comes from the Colonial Viper Starfighter from Battlestar Galactica, which was popular when the jet first appeared. The F-16 looks sleek and deadly, just like that spaceship. It is one of the most successful fighter jets ever built. More than 4,600 have been produced since the 1970s. That's a huge number, showing just how much countries around the world trust this incredible machine to protect their skies. One of the most exciting facts about the F-16 is its power. The engine is so strong it can push the jet straight up like a rocket. This is called a thrust-to-weight ratio, greater than one. Imagine a car with an engine so powerful it could lift itself and fly. That's the Viper. This power lets pilots perform amazing maneuvers, gain altitude fast and dominate dogfights, a true testament to raw, unbridled power. The story of the F-16 begins in the early 1970s. The United States Air Force needed a new fighter jet, lightweight, affordable, and highly maneuverable. Fighters like the F-4 Phantom II were becoming large, heavy, and expensive. The fighter mafia argued for a simpler, more agile dogfighter that could outturn and outfly opponents, not just rely on missiles. Their ideas led to the lightweight fighter program. Competition was fierce. General Dynamics created the YF-16 in Fort Worth, Texas. Northrop built the YF-17. Both were impressive, but the YF-16 had a slight edge. It used a single Pratt and Whitney F-100, the same engine as the larger F-15 Eagle, keeping costs down and easing maintenance. In 1975, the Air Force chose the YF-16. The legend of the Fighting Falcon began. F-16s rolled off the massive Fort Worth line. Thousands of Vipers were born here. Lockheed Martin later took over and continues to upgrade the jet. Revolutionary for its time, the design blended top performance with reliability and easy maintenance for a long service life. Production ramped up for allies including Belgium, Denmark, the Netherlands, and Norway. Europe even set up its own lines, cementing the F-16 as a global fighter and symbol of American engineering and international cooperation. One of the first things you notice is the amazing cockpit. A large, frameless bubble canopy. One piece of clear polycarbonate. It gives an unobstructed 360-degree view. In a dogfight, seeing your enemy is everything. No metal bars block vision, letting pilots track opponents through tight turns and complex maneuvers. The blended wing body generates more lift for tighter turns and efficient high angle of attack flight. Lower drag helps the jet exceed Mach 2, more than twice the speed of sound, around 1,500 miles per hour. The tilted seat, about 30 degrees, helps pilots withstand G-forces that can otherwise cause blackout. Tilting helps keep blood in the brain, keeping pilots conscious and in control. The F-16 was designed to be slightly unstable. That instability is the secret to its agility. A fly-by-wire computer makes constant micro-corrections. Because the jet wants to change direction, it responds instantly, like balancing a broomstick on your finger. This relaxed static stability gives the Viper its legendary cat-like reflexes in the air. The F-16 is not just an American icon, it is a global phenomenon. While the United States Air Force is the largest operator, it serves in over 25 other nations. From Europe to the Middle East and Asia, the Viper is a trusted guardian of the skies. Israel, Turkey, Egypt, South Korea, and Taiwan all operate large fleets of F-16s. Pilots train together and use similar tactics, strengthening international alliances. The jet's popularity comes from its balance of performance, versatility, and cost. Top-tier power, without the extreme price tag of jets like the F-15 Eagle or F-35 Lightning II. Lockheed Martin keeps Vipers current with modern radars, weapons, and avionics keeping the jet relevant on today's battlefield. The Israeli Air Force showcased precision strike capability in Operation Opera, a long, dangerous mission to destroy a nuclear reactor under construction. The IAF also scored many air-to-air -air victories, cementing air superiority credibility. In the Gulf War and over the Balkans, F-16s flew more coalition missions than any other aircraft. 
attacking ground targets, destroying air defenses, and patrolling the skies. These campaigns proved the Viper's versatility, from wild weasel radar hunting to pinpoint precision strikes, securing its reputation as a battle-proven warrior. Even today, nearly 50 years after its first flight, the F-16 remains vital worldwide, and it keeps evolving. Modern Vipers like Block 70 and 72 add ASA radars, new displays, and more powerful computers to carry the latest smart bombs and missiles. Production continues in Greenville, South Carolina. Nations like Bahrain, Slovakia, and Taiwan are receiving advanced Block 70 jets. Even with fifth-generation fighters like the F-35, demand for the proven F-16 remains strong due to capability and affordability. The U.S. Air Force plans to fly F-16s alongside the F-35 and F-15EX into the 2040s with continuous software and structural upgrades. The Viper's simple, robust design adapts well to modernization, testament to the engineers who built it to evolve. It democratized high-performance air power, bringing speed, agility, and versatility to air forces big and small. It has protected troops, enforced no-fly zones, and defended the skies of dozens of nations. From its lightweight beginnings to a sophisticated multi-role warrior, the F-16 Viper has proven itself time and time again. It is a timeless machine, a symbol of freedom, and a true king of the skies.